this is an iPad Pro 13 inch A1671 yeah this iPad from a local repair shop that uh, he kinda sure is the bad charger port he got the replacement and asked me to do the soldering so I soldered the new charger port Yeah, it's solder good and with no problem. I have many, I have a couple videos soldering the charger port, so that's why I didn't do that part. And when I plug the device to the amp meter, the device is taking zero amp. Sometimes it shows 80 milliamp. It show milli 80 milliamps, then zero. And I feel like if something is getting hot. So there is two spots. One spot is here. One, let's go to the microscope. So I feel like one spot is here. And one spot is right here. So let's use the alcohol. what that chip is so that chip is getting hot and something else here is getting hot maybe something a coil I think yeah look like this coil is getting hot Yep, that's cool. Well, now let's see what's the resistance or from the diode mode. We check if that's what we have reading in that coil. Oh. So in this coil we have 0, 0.00 something. Yeah, all these coils is this very low. Now let's check around that IC that was getting hot. was changing a belt in the radio cassette the belt is completely melt that's why it's this black is the rubber belt when it's melt it's like very sticky and just make mess everywhere it's hard to clean yeah I tried to clean my hand a couple times but still I know This capacitor tested low. This one okay. Low. Yeah. So this capacitor and this capacitor tested low. This one tested low. No. 
Sometimes when you touch like this, you are touching the other capacitor too. That's why it show like it's a zero bar. Like if I touch the top of the capacitor, it's good. If we see that chip is getting hot, it's not all the time that chip is bad. We need to be sure it could be something else. I'm going to inject the voltage in one of these coil or in one of those capacitors. And let's lower it to the one volt. And you can see it, one volt. And I'm going to use this one as a ground. And we are going to inject. And we keep, we watch because we don't know this, where is the ground side, where is the, the positive side of the capacitor. So we are going to watch the, the amps. So if I touch, we have 16 amp, 13 amp. So this side, 13 amp, the other side, 16 amp. So that side is the ground, this side is the positive side of the capacitor. So I'm just going to inject the voltage over there and see if that chip is getting hot, this one. No, the capacitor is getting hot, but it's not the chip. Yeah, so like if I inject the, on this capacitor, I see this area is mean the capacitor getting hot. That's why it show like it's the chip. The same thing if I inject here, you see this area, but that's not the chip. It's just because the capacitor is getting hot. So let's uh, check. If I cannot figure out, then I can use the thermal camera. Yep, I find another spot somewhere here, or could be the chip itself. Okay, let's see if we can do both of them at the same time. You see this corner right here? That capacitor with the seat bed. Anyway, let's remove that capacitor and we see if yeah, that capacitor has come very close to the power IC, so we need to be careful to it. Okay, let's see, do we still have a shirt over there? This is the ground. Okay, we have 0 0.5.
Hemp is short, you know. Yeah, the amp meter it show about like 400 milliamp because the battery is very low so I will yeah now is a one amp yeah, here. see it one amp 